welcome to Accordion Cafe. This is the Beko 5140, removing the door seal, uh, similar to other machines though. Remove the screws at the back of the lid, give it a tap at the front and it slides off. Uh, your kick plate off the front, gently now because there's tabs all the way around that. Uh, three screws along the front to remove. Three Phillips screws that is. And then take off the clamp band at the front, which is a steel band with one little spring in it. Put it back in the same position. Move your door seal out of the way, and you can get at the interlock. Two Phillips screws. It's on wire, so it won't fall anywhere. Take out your soap dispenser drawer. And there's more screws just behind that there. And some tabs at the top of the control panel cover. Push those tabs down, bring it forward gently because there's tabs at the bottom, you don't want to smash them off. Break them off. Remove your wires, remember where they go, or take photographs. And some more screws along the front, there's two in the front there. One more at the top left, and then you can move the soap dispenser tray, detergent dispenser tray as well. <laughs> and then you can take hold of the front panel and jig it up and down a bit. Not a bit of sort of two keyhole uh, nylon uh, stuff that you'll see. Uh, the front clamp band, take hold of the spring, which is spring all the way around on this. It's a tough spring this is, so just pull it off. seals go. When you come to put the new seal on, which we're doing now, this is the old seal I'm fitting back on by the way, it's only a demonstration machine, they are tough to um, get back on and you'll just have to use your own imagination. It's a bit like putting the tyre on a bicycle wheel. Give it a tug, make sure it's in the right place and your drain holes are at the bottom. There you can see the shape you have to put the door, uh, the front panel on, so you can see you put it on the big part, then you have to give it a little tug up to get it in the right position. Give your soap dispenser try out the way to fit this in. Put that back out of the way, then you can go it off. Last half an inch and you can then put the screws in. Screws in the bottom as well, three screws in, in the bottom panel. And the good plate goes back on. And your interlock, put the left side in first. And your two screws, two Phillips screws. Make sure you really use the right screws for the part of the machine because they are made sometimes of different uh, materials and they're different sizes. And fit your uh, door seal in the front around the lip. It makes it easy, you can always use a bit of uh, washing up liquid on that. Make it slide on easier. And the clamp band, once again, it can be a tough job getting this clamp band on, a bit like putting a tyre on a bicycle wheel, you have to uh, get a bit tough with it sometimes. <coughs> it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's a bit tough pulling that back on. It's not a hard job. It used to be hard years ago. It was a right swan years ago. But uh, just a bit of perseverance and it will go on. And then just ch check all round and make sure it's in the right position. Just look all around and make sure you've got it on right. Because if you haven't, you'll have a flood on your hands. And then it's just a question of reassembling then. You're wiring on your front panel, looking at your diagram or your photographs which you took. You probably won't get them in the wrong place on, on a lot of machines because the, the plugs are all different anyway. But just, uh, you know, take precautions and take pictures. 
and then you'll know that you've got them in the right place. <coughs> you'll notice the on-off switch is missing on this machine. As I say, this is just for demonstration purposes, this is. Put your screws in. Soap dispenser drawer. And then last of all, your lid. Sliding it back to the front and your two, three screws at the back and you're all done.